Have you ever wondered what Cleopatra, one of the most influential women in history, might have eaten for dinner? Imagine being transported back in time to the heart of ancient Egypt where the great Queen Cleopatra ruled. Amidst the grandeur of towering pyramids and the hustle and bustle of the Nile riverbanks, food played an integral part in shaping not just the Egyptian culture, but also its religion and daily life. Cleopatra, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt, was known for her beauty, intellect, and her appetite for luxury. But what about her literal appetite? What were the flavors that tingled her palate and the textures that satisfied her cravings? As a queen, Cleopatra had access to the finest and most exotic foods of her time. But what were these foods exactly? Ancient Egyptians, like Cleopatra, believed food was not just a means of survival, but a pathway to the divine. Their meals were a blend of cultural traditions, religious rituals, and gastronomic indulgence. Each ingredient, each dish, had a purpose and a story. The rich, fertile soil of the Nile Delta provided a bounty of grains, fruits, and vegetables. The river teemed with fish. Flocks of birds filled the sky. For the ancient Egyptians, bread and beer were the staples of every meal, even for royalty, like Cleopatra. But her table would have also been adorned with a variety of meats, including beef, duck, and goose. Herbs and spices, like cumin, coriander, and cinnamon, added flavor and complexity to her dishes. And let's not forget the wine. Cleopatra was known for her love of wine, which was often sweetened with honey and infused with herbs and spices. This was the liquid gold of her time, a symbol of her wealth and status. But the mystery of Cleopatra's cuisine doesn't end with the ingredients. It extends to the preparation and presentation of her meals, the rituals that surrounded her dining, and the people who shared her table. Now that we've set the stage, it's time to uncover the secrets of Cleopatra's royal cuisine. Imagine a time when the Nile River was the center of life and food was a symbol of power and divinity. This was the world of ancient Egypt, a civilization where the rich and fertile Nile Valley influenced the diet of its people profoundly. At the heart of this diet were grains, specifically emma wheat and barley. These grains were the lifeblood of the Egyptian diet, ground into flour for bread, brewed into beer, or even eaten as porridge. It's important to note that bread and beer were not just sustenance, but also a form of currency used to pay workers in the massive construction projects of the time. Vegetables were also a key part of the ancient Egyptian diet. The fertile soil along the Nile was perfect for growing a variety of crops. Onions, leeks, garlic, and lettuce were commonly consumed along with a variety of legumes like lentils and chickpeas. These were often served alongside bread or used in stews. Fruits were a sweet treat in the ancient Egyptian diet. Dates and figs were favorites, eaten fresh or dried for preservation. Pomegranates, melons, and grapes were also popular, with the latter often turned into wine for the upper classes. Now, let's talk about meat. While it was not a daily staple for the average Egyptian, it was enjoyed on special occasions. Beef, goat, and mutton were common, along with poultry like duck and goose. Fish from the Nile was also a significant part of the diet, especially for those living near the river. And of course, we can't forget about honey. Revered as a gift from the gods, Honey was the primary sweetener in ancient Egypt, used in a variety of dishes and even as a preservative. Cleopatra, being a queen, would have had the best of these foods. But what exactly was on her plate? Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the tantalizing world of Cleopatra's cuisine in our next segment. What would a meal fit for a queen like Cleopatra look like? One can only imagine the opulence, the variety, the exquisite tastes and aromas that would grace her royal table. There's a good chance Cleopatra's meals were far more intriguing than what we're used to today. And that's saying something considering the culinary diversity we enjoy in our time. Historical records and archaeological findings give us a hint of what might have been the Queen's favorite dishes. In fact, 
They suggest that Cleopatra's meals were a delightful blend of local ingredients and exotic imports, a testament to Egypt's position as a global trading hub during her reign. Imagine a table laden with dishes made from a variety of grains such as emma wheat and barley, forming the staple of Cleopatra's diet. These grains were likely used to create breads and cakes, often sweetened with honey, another ingredient commonly found in ancient Egyptian cuisine. But the Queen's table was not all about the staples. It was a showcase of Egypt's rich biodiversity. There would be dishes made from fresh fruits and vegetables, like figs, dates, grapes, onions and cucumbers. And then there were the proteins, poultry, fish from the Nile, and on special occasions, beef. But what made Cleopatra's meals truly royal was the use of exotic spices. Traders from the far reaches of Cleopatra's empire would bring in a variety of spices, such as cumin, coriander, and cinnamon. These spices would be used to add flavor and aroma to the dishes, making each meal a culinary adventure. And of course, no royal meal would be complete without wine. Cleopatra was known for her love of wine, which was often sweetened with honey and infused with herbs and spices. This would not only add a sweet and spicy kick to the wine, but also elevate the entire dining experience. With such a diverse array of ingredients, Cleopatra's meals were undoubtedly a feast for the senses. Each meal would be a celebration of the queen's power and wealth, a testament to the grandeur of her reign. It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? To dine like the queen of the Nile. Now that's a meal fit for a queen. How can we recreate the flavors of Cleopatra's feast in our modern kitchens? That's the question that brings us to the heart of our journey today. To start, let's imagine a dish that was a staple in Cleopatra's time and still remains a favorite in Egypt today, full madams. This satisfying meal of slow-cooked fava beans, crushed garlic, and a generous swirl of olive oil would have been served with freshly baked bread, akin to our modern pita. Now let's venture into the realm of the royal. Cleopatra, being a woman of indulgence, would have had her chefs prepare a delicacy known as dukkha. This is an exotic blend of crushed nuts, seeds, and spices that would have been used as a dip or a topping for bread and meats. Today, you can recreate this by roasting and grinding together hazelnuts, sesame seeds, coriander, and cumin until they release their intoxicating aroma. Let's not forget the sweet tooth. Cleopatra was known for her love of honey, and this would have been used in many desserts. Picture a sweet flaky pastry filled with ground nuts and sweetened with honey, a precursor to our modern baklava. But what's a feast without a drink to wash it all down? Cleopatra's beverage of choice was likely a sweet fermented drink made from dates or grapes. You can try this at home by brewing your own date wine or grape juice, adding a touch of honey for sweetness. Of course, these are just a few examples of the diverse and vibrant cuisine of ancient Egypt. The actual feast would have been a grand affair, with an array of dishes to satisfy every palate. In bringing these recipes to life, we're not just cooking food, we're reviving a piece of history, experiencing a taste of Cleopatra's world. So, go ahead, don your apron, roll up your sleeves, and step into your kitchen. It's time to cook like the Queen of the Nile. Now, you have a taste of what it might be like to dine like Cleopatra. So, are you ready to take your taste buds on a journey back in time? We've traced the arc of ancient Egyptian cuisine, delved into the opulence of Cleopatra's table, and even attempted to recreate a feast fit for a queen. It's been an odyssey of flavors, textures, and tantalizing aromas. A journey that has not only satisfied our palates, but also our curiosity about the past. Remember how we started with the mystery of Cleopatra's cuisine? We explored the food of ancient Egypt, a culture that thrived thousands of years ago, yet left a culinary legacy that still influences our dishes today. We discovered the staples of their diet, from bread and beer to lentils and leeks, and the role they played in their daily life. Then, we stepped into the world of Cleopatra, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt. We imagined what her table might have looked like, laden with the best of land and sea. 
we learned about the royal banquets, the exotic dishes and the stories they told about power, diplomacy and extravagance. Finally, we rolled up our sleeves and brought Cleopatra's feast to life. From roasting quail to baking bread, we tried to capture the essence of the Queen's table in our kitchens. It was a challenge, yes, but also a unique way to connect with history. The flavors of the past offer a fascinating window into different cultures and epochs. They remind us that food is not just about sustenance. It's about experiences, stories and connections. It's about understanding our roots and appreciating the diversity of our global kitchen. If you enjoyed this culinary trip to ancient Egypt, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear what other historical cuisines you're curious about.